Sofia Perovskaya was born in 1853 in St. Petersburg, Russia. The family that she was born into was considered the high aristocracy. And in fact, she could trace her ancestry to her great-great-grandfather, whose name was Kirill Razum. Kirill Razum was originally from the Ukraine, and his older brother, Alexei Razum, was discovered by the Empress Elizabeth due to his singing talents. And she brought him to St. Petersburg, and he would become her husband. He didn't become the Tsar of Russia. He was what's called a morganatic husband, or more of a consort. And because of Alexei Razum's close relationship with the Empress, Kirill Razum also had great success, and he was appointed hetman of the Ukraine, or the chief military leader of the Ukraine. Kirill Razum went on to become wealthy, and his son, Alexei Razumovsky, as the family was renamed, became even more wealthy. He was married in an arranged marriage to one of the wealthiest heiresses in Russia, and they had four children. However, besides that, Alexei had estates throughout Russia, and one of them was in a place called Perovo, which is a suburb of Moscow. On the estate in Perovo, Alexei kept a mistress by the name of Maria Sobolevskaya. With Maria, he had 10 illegitimate children. They gave the illegitimate children another surname. The surname they gave them was Perovsky, after Perovo. These Perovsky children became distinguished aristocrats in their own right. The boys in the family grew up to become generals, diplomats, scientists, noted authors, poets. They were really among the leading lights of Russia in their generation. And one of the uh, children was Nikolai Porovsky, who would be Sophia's grandfather. Nikolai Porovsky was a diplomat. He was ambassador to China. And then he went on to be the governor of the Taurid, which is in South Russia, and it includes the Crimea. Nikolai's son, Lev Porovsky, was Sophia's father. Lev Porovsky had a career in the civil service. He worked his way into being the vice governor of Pskov, which is a provincial capital in, in Russia. Then he went on to be a vice governor in the Crimea, and then finally vice governor in St. Petersburg in 1861, when Sophia was eight years old. When Sophia was 12 years old in 1865, her father, Lev, was promoted to be the full governor of St. Petersburg. The family was Lev and his wife, Varvara, and they had five children, of whom four survived um, infancy. Lev and Varvara were married in the mid-1840s. Their marriage was a little unusual, particularly for the Porovsky family. It wasn't an arranged marriage. It was actually what the Russians called a love marriage. And um, Lev and Varvara actually were somewhat liberal in their values and in, in their po politics. Alexander, too, was something of a liberal, particularly in his early years after acceding to the throne in 1856. He freed the serfs. He instituted a number of liberal reforms in the justice system and education system, and he appointed ministers who were liberals. However, in 1866, all of that would dramatically change, and it would have a dramatic impact on the Porosky family, as we will see.